As we head into 2014, 13 states will be raising the minimum wage. Huffington Post reports that at least 13 states will be raising the wage floor on their own next week as 2014 begins. They are being led once again. This has become very common, Lewis, Washington state leading the charge, which is going to have the highest state minimum wage in the country at nine dollars and thirty two cents per hour. There are a few cities and counties around the country that will be going above and beyond as well. San Francisco will have a ten dollar and seventy four cent minimum wage. San Francisco's base will no longer be the highest municipal minimum wage in the country, though. Voters in SeaTac, Washington, approved a fifteen dollar minimum wage for about six thousand airport workers at the SeaTac airport that will go into effect January first. Let's remember, Lewis, that we are still way below the 1968 inflation adjusted minimum wage. It's great that these minimum wages are increasing in 13 or more states, but we would be around eleven dollars nationally right now, merely keeping up with inflation from from 1968. And of course, productivity has gone up significantly more than inflation. If we had a minimum wage that kept up with productivity, we would be I forget exactly, but somewhere in the 15 to 17 dollar range. We have plenty of money for the poor and plenty of money for the rich to still be rich, even while providing a living wage for the working poor. There just doesn't seem to be the political will or interest from those in power to actually do it. No, it's sad. And I, I think everyone would benefit from a higher minimum wage. But uh, I don't know. There's something about that mm -hmm. mentality that uh, giving giving more money out to people who need it is bad and that businesses can't afford it. But uh, I'd like to see the effects in the areas we just talked about. Yeah, we will be following it. We'll see if the economies fall apart in these areas that are increasing their minimum wages above and beyond the federal minimum wage. And you know we will follow it because this is a, a, a crucial story right now, that of labor and minimum wage and particularly the growing inequality between the richest and the poorest and the richest and the average is something that we're going to continue to follow.